What's up guys, welcome back to Triple back to another video and in today's video we're finally picking up something that I've been wanting to do for so 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 long. As you guys know, we're not only doing things to our cars, but we're also doing things to our house and also to upgrade our fleet. So our side project that I currently been working on was that concrete over there. We also did a little bit of like, we're doing some things over there, a little bit of renovations over there as well. But also at the same time, the concrete's gonna definitely help us out in the E91 M3 project. But what's gonna help us out even more is to get a trailer to help transport that E91 so I found a trailer, a 2021 trailer for $37.50 with documents. I'm hoping, because it doesn't actually have a title, I'm wondering if that's going to be legit, legal, all that stuff. I'm going to go down there, take pictures, send it over. But as long as the trailer's in really good shape and it doesn't have any lean on it, I'm going to try to cop this trailer. We have the money, we have the documents, we have the keys. Let's go ahead, take the truck down there, drive two hours down to Chico, and hopefully, hopefully, get a good deal on this trailer. But before we actually get into today's video, today's video is sponsored by Simply carbon fiber. Simply carbon fiber brings a stylish lifestyle to your life. Honestly, guys, I never really spend money on anything. I mean, I'm talking anything. I mean, I don't buy myself watches. I don't buy myself glasses. I don't buy myself anything. Like accessories for me as a car guy is not really necessary. If I have some shorts and I have a shirt, I'm a happy man. But ever since getting a Simply Carbon Fiber wallet, I literally ended up getting their watch. I ended up getting their newest wallet, which is this guy right here. I had their previous carbon fiber. This is a forged carbon fiber. They have so much more. They also have some glasses. It's like so many different accessories. And honestly, as a car enthusiast, I love having these things with me they just look super good and it really like fits the vibe of the car it's kind of like a modification but for yourself if you know what i mean so if you guys want to get some carbon fiber modifications for yourself and upgrade your wallets or possibly your watches make sure to check out simply carbon fiber down below don't forget to use my code guys it's kind of weird to express the feelings that i'm feeling right now but it's really weird because this isn't the most expensive thing i'm ever gonna buy it's actually a very affordable to be honest with you guys like cheaper than a lot of bmws that i've purchased um and it's just you know a flat piece of wood on four act on two axles technically so um i don't know what it is but i'm just super excited to go and just because of how much possibilities and how much builds and crazy things we can do with it um and just moving the e91 projects i want to get that thing properly painted and it's just gonna be a roller and having a winch and all that stuff to help me unload and load things and also not having to be in a rush when i get because basically when i get a u-haul down a pickup pole and we get a car and it's like really messed up i have to get it off that trailer same night so i can return the trailer and it's just very, very, very stressful every single time. And I was like, you know what? I think it's time to buy a trailer. So I am super stoked to finally, finally, finally get our own trailer. I'm just hoping everything works out perfectly. The dude sounds very chill, very like, honestly, good person. Um, so as long as there's no lean on this, guys, we're getting a pretty good deal. All right, guys, so roughly about 20 minutes away right now. I did call my boy Johnny because he's around this area, and I was like, hey, man, can you meet me up over there just so, you know, better safe than sorry, just in case I'm about to get jumped or something? I don't know. But, uh, I mean, it's not really, this guy sounds pretty cool. It doesn't sound sketch or anything like that. It's just trying to be safe, um, especially considering that I've never actually did a trailer purchase before. I don't know how that stuff works exactly. And just having at least two people there helps control the situation, worst comes to worst. So you, as soon as my boy Jonathan pulls up and I pull up, we're gonna go ahead and check out this trailer, guys. People say BMW's unreliable. This is the only car I have right now with two dash lights. That's crazy. Guys, Johnny just pulled up. He's gonna be helping me supervise the transaction. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. Bro, this thing's looking so good now. You're gonna be doing both bumpers tomorrow, right? Yeah, well, uh, Sunday, so two days. Two more days? Two more days. Sheesh. But guys, this is looking so, so, so good. Now, obviously the E92s, I think this front bumper, honestly, just does not do it justice, does not, bro, to this car. Yeah, it does like not. you need, I mean, an M3 style is like, for me, it's my second favorite, but my first is M Sport all the way. M Sport just looks so good on these cars. That's when you have, right? Yeah. So you're gonna be wrapping that, Hopefully bro. You'll see it by then. Yeah, you guys will see it by then. It's gonna look so, so, so good. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty much wrapped. He's gonna be wrapping this today. Um, so that I, I, it's, it's gonna be fully wrapped up pretty soon. And this car actually, if you guys don't know, is a pretty nice spec. It has the brown interior manual gearbox with a single hump for those of you guys who like the single hump. Actually, if you don't want the single hump, I know a guy that can, uh, you know. <laughs> But yeah, guys, at this point, we're just waiting on that trailer. He should be here literally any minute now. I believe he's in a Tacoma. Um, man, I am so, yeah, bro. I'm so, I'm so tense, dude. It's all good, bro. It's, oh. it's same old, same old. It's, I feel like it's gonna be similar to a car. I've heard just so many cars, bro, where this trailer feels a little weird because it's not like it's an different. actual, it's different. it's different. Yeah, I don't even know if there's a VIN on it. It has to be a VIN, right? I think there is. Because homemade trailers don't have VINs on them, you know? 
I don't even know how you do that, to be honest with Homemade you. trailers? Yeah. I don't know. That's exactly my question. So. Well, we're about to figure out. We're about to figure this out, guys. Let's get back to y'all. Hopefully, if we end up getting this thing. Shout out to Johnny for helping him guide this trailer. This, this is such a badass trailer, guys. Me and Jonathan are about to go celebrate with some in and out guys, but we got the trailer. Oh, this is so sick, guys. We finally have a full rig. We got a truck, we got a trailer. Let's get it. Guys, so we were gonna go to in and out but instead we went to Chili's because they had a three for 10 deal and I haven't been here in a minute. Oh, we go over there. But yeah, we, bro, remember we used to come here like every week, dude? <laughs> guys, a three for 10 deal at Chili's is actually a pretty dang good deal. And just like that guys, we finished up our meal at Chili's. Uh, we saw it in and out, but we saw Chili's. We haven't been there maybe like a year, year and a half. So I, we had to indulge a little bit. We did get us out, we did get us out, not gonna lie. Um, but anywho, we got the trailer. We are heading right now to go to the registration office. Now he did, um, the cool thing about it, we actually purchased this trailer. He actually had proof of purchase on this trailer. He bought it three months ago for $4,900 out the door. Now that is pretty much what I'm finding. Actually right now they're going for a little bit more, maybe like $5,200 out the door, $5,300 out the door. That's everywhere I'm looking. I'm looking for newer trailers because older trailers don't really have all the like the electric braking, the, uh, the lights and all that stuff. And they just don't look as safe to be honest with you guys. And they're still going for like two, three grand. So this one, I hit him up with an offer. He wanted only four, which I was like, dang, for a brand new trailer, 2021, not bad. So I offered him 37 and we pretty much came down to 3750. So 3750 for a 2021 trailer with all these like options and stuff. And it's an actual VIN, it's not homemade. So it's actually made by a company, has a VIN number. Um, we got papers, he has a proof of purchase receipt, which shows that the, the vehicle is paid off. Um, so we should be able to register, no problem. So wish me luck guys, we are heading to the DMV right Right now and if we can get this baby registered we are official owners of our first 2021 jr trailer Alrighty, guys we are officially back home and we have the registration in this envelope we actually have everything in this envelope but it's very organized and it looks so 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 good i'm a very i'm like an organized type of guy i love when everything's put together but anyways we went down to the dmv we did get the thing registered and the title is being sent i actually bought it without a title um but i had everything else to be able to get a title um i pretty much sent all the pictures to my dmv lady and she verified them she said as long as you do this this and this um you should be good so thankfully um even though i didn't get the title i will be getting a title for this trailer which is probably one of the reasons why i got this thing so 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 cheap everyone else is probably like hmm, i don't know how i feel about getting a trailer without a title especially in california because they are very strict but i want to show you guys now finally the trailer give you guys a quick little walk around um we are officially home and for those of you guys who don't know this is my truck as well and i like to modify everything i have not just my car not just my house but also my truck currently in the interior all i have is pretty much an aza steering wheel i absolutely love this steering wheel so shout out to aza for that i also have this double din radio right here it's touchscreen it is bluetooth i don't really know if that's like a factory thing it did come with my truck when i got it we have the Rough Country floor mats, which I absolutely love. We are currently rocking a six inch lift kit from Rough Country. These are Rough Country wheels wrapped around Rough Country tires. I believe these are all terrain tires. I absolutely love them. They look super aggressive. We have the we have the front bull bar with the LED lights as well from Rough Country as well. We got the Rough Country decals sitting up there. The Rough Country um, side stepping. This thing's actually so nice and actually very cheap. I think these are like $300 and like the attention to detail here, it just looks so, so, so good. Got some more little Rough Country uh, badging on the truck truck we do also have a rough country um tow hitch and uh this is our trailer guys so this trailer right here is not a homemade trailer that was like a big thing when i was looking for a trailer this trailer was made by a company so it does have a vin number and all that good stuff um this trailer also because it's made by a company i believe it has to be made under regulation so this one does have like the lighting thing so you actually plug it in there and your lights your turn signals everything just works your daytime running lights so this trailer is perfectly legal registered and you can even be insured which is super nice if you guys build your own homemade trailer the thing is if someone's 
steals it, that's the end of that. There's literally nothing they can do. This one you can ensure, so if someone were to steal it for any reason, will be fully covered, which is a huge plus. So not only does it have the LED lights, but it also has the braking system as well, which is super nice. So when you actually put your foot on the brakes, I believe 25% of the braking is done by the trailer. So this trailer doesn't actually just whack into you at a hard braking, which is super nice. It does have a spare wheel right there, which I think is so sick. Not much trailers I've seen actually have a spare wheel on the sides. So I just look super baller. I don't know. I absolutely love that. It has the tie downs right out here, more tie downs over here. This is where actually you can attach like a winch, which is something I really, really, really want. And this section right over here, you can actually buy like a cargo box to kind of sit right here and then kind of bolt it down. So you can have some cargo, some extra like storage, put straps, things like that. So for the most part, this, the frame is made out of like steel and metal. Um, the center portion is made out of wood. I really wanted an entire steel um, trailer, but those are at, start, uh, at least like five to six K. Again, we got this one for much, much, much cheaper. So I'm really happy with this. It does have the ramps right over here. So you pretty much just pull up on that, pull the ramps out, set it back there. Got the turn signals right over here as well. We have the daytime running lights right there in the center. We got the plates right over there, which I'm gonna have to definitely put the Saver BMW ones and uh, get that properly mounted, honestly. I might even do that right now because I'm just not liking this whole tape situation. So I might actually sit you guys down and uh, do something better than that. And since this is a 2021 trailer, we don't have to worry about the axle or anything like that. This is all pretty much brand new stuff. So I don't have to really worry about maintenance on this thing. It has pretty much almost brand new tires. And this is also an 18 footer. So this pretty much can fit pretty much any BMW that I want, which is super nice. And even some honestly exotic cars because it's actually seven feet wide as well. I believe 84 inches, which is also a huge bonus. And this deal only gets better guys. I actually have my own straps that I use right over here, but these are the straps that this thing came with. So it came with like a bunch of wheel tie downs, came with just a bunch of like regular tie downs to be able to like strap down, uh, for example, like an engine or transmission on the back trailer, which is super nice. I believe one of these alone are like 20 bucks. So I mean, yeah, maybe this is like a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Obviously in the grand scheme of things, I mean, this trailer is a lot more expensive than a hundred dollars, but end of the day, um, having all this stuff is super nice. I don't actually have to buy any of that stuff. Things I do want to upgrade in the near future. Um, again, like I said, I wanted to get kind of like a storage thing right over here, mount the winch to this, mount it to the floorboard, and that thing should be able to pull up anything that's like five or 6,000 pounds, no problem. So yeah, let me go ahead and get my tools and figure out the best way to mount that plate so um, we don't have any janky tape on there. That thing's looking pretty dang mint and it's pretty sick, but that tape is really throwing things off. And just like that, guys, we got the plate on the car. This thing's absolutely not going anywhere. This is so much better. Um, this thing's literally made out of plastic. So if you guys look at this side, there's a lot of play here. And there's literally no screws on this side. So I drilled two holes, got these screws on there. It's literally not even moving on this side. And I bent the, I bent the plate a little bit downwards, so it kind of looks a lot better. I was gonna actually put the Saver BMW plates on here, but at the same time, um, I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea because then I can only use two of the holes. It doesn't really work for trailers, unfortunately. But, <laughs> man, I am so stoked. I, I cannot wait to start modifying this thing adding all those things to this trailer to make this thing so practical. But anyway, I could be talking about good stuff about this trailer all day, but uh, I think honestly, <laughs> that's gonna have to conclude the video. I think we're gonna have to put this trailer to work pretty soon here. But anyways, if you guys are excited for the E90 E91 M3 conversion, make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado, it's gonna have to conclude the video. It's pretty much just me getting a trailer, first time experience. And honestly, guys, it went pretty smooth. Also, just to put it out there, actually, um, insurance is really cheap. It's like 30 bucks a month and uh, registration is like 20 bucks for four years. So um, honestly, Honestly, I wish that thing had a motor because I've been the cheapest thing to run on the road in all of California. But thankfully, everything went very, very, very smooth. But yeah, that's gonna have to conclude this video. So without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.